Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. One day I'll probably go to the Most High Yahweh. I shall my shalom, my like Yahweh shine. Spread us out right, come here, come in the cold cup to the spirit and power and glory of the devil if I bear every. On the cold cup, the topic is stop playing. Don't tempt the Most High. You know, so you, you don't want to tempt the Most High, the man that has everything literally in the palm of his hand, creating all these things, um, um, creating vengeance creating all these um, um, pestilence in the earth. You want to be the one that's um, tempting him and thinking he can't do what the hell he want to do. All right? You know, stop playing with the Most High. You have to put the respect, uh, respect on the uh, Most High's name. You know? So, uh, let's get into this thing. Let's go to um, St. Matthew chapter 4. In verse 7, it says, Yahweh Shai said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. So you shouldn't tempt the Lord thy God. You know? You shouldn't be trying to tempt him and try to play 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 mind games with him. Hey, the Most High sees everything. You could, can't pull a wool over his eyes. Let's get into this one. How are you trying to pull a wool over a man's eyes that he already predestined everything? He predestinated everything, but you're trying to pull a wool over his eyes. Come on now. This is uh, Romans chapter 8 and verse 29. I'm going to start at 28. It says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that that love Yahweh, to them who are called, who, who are, the, are the call according to his purpose, for whom he did for new, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. So literally, the most high predestinated everything, laid everything out to a T. The, the mightiest architect, the mightiest um, um, mind in, the, in, in all world. It says, moreover, whom he did predestinate them, he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. So, you know, that's simple. The Most High literally laid everything out, and it's just, we just living every, uh, every day. You know, we just going with the flow. Because the Most High has everything already in line. Whatever you do, you was already programmed to go that way. Alright? So we gotta stop tempting the Most High. Let's get this one down along. Let's get Because you got to understand how I shy was quoting from where? The law. The prophets. But this particular in Matthew 4 and 7, he was quoting this. This is um, Deuteronomy 6 and 16. And it reads this. Um, ye shall not tempt the Lord your, your God as ye tempt him in my sight. So you can't be trying to tempt the Most High. The Most High will cut you down quick, quick in a hurry. You tempting him. Stop playing games. You shouldn't be out here playing games with the Most High. Come on now. It's the Creator. Yeah, on Sirach 18, he, he's the one that created all things in general. Well, for paraphrasing. So we can't be out here thinking we, we can play games with the Most High. All right, let's get Nehemiah chapter 1 and verse 5. It says, this is Nehemiah 1 and 5. It says, and said, I beseech thee, O Lord, the Hobble of heaven, the great and terrible God that keep it covenant in mercy for him, for them that love him and observe his commandments. So literally, the Most High is, is not also a forgiving God. He's not, he's also, um, he's a loving God, a merciful God. But he also terrible. So you keep tempting the Most High and not following his law, statutes, his commandments, and having secret sin and doing whatever you're doing out here in the world. The Most High going to get up with you. He going to have to big worm you. Call you up to the, call you up. Hey, and jam you up. Stop tempting the Most High. You know? He literally said, it says, And said, I beseech thee, O Lord, Yahweh of heaven, the great and terrible. So he's great and terrible. 
Why you tempted a man that's terrible? Yeah, the most high is all hugs and kissings and merciful. That's how all that people think. Hey, last time I checked, he's the one that set the flood out in the times of Noah. Yeah, last time I checked, he's the one that put the Israelites in captivity in Egypt. Last time I checked, everything that happened in the wilderness, he, he ordained it. That's the last time I checked. Go back to the Noah situation. The Most High literally wiped out the whole entire earth and left Noah and his kids and, and his wife and their wives. Literally. Maybe eight people um, survived the flood. Eight people out of all the people that was on the earth at that time. Eight people. Stop playing with the Most High. Stop tempting him for he get up with you. He going to get up with you. It's sooner or later. You know? You got to stop tempting him. Because they also, um, the day of vengeance is, 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 um, the day of vengeance is, 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 um, so, um, what's the word? Um, the day of vengeance is, um, is fit for the wicked. So literally, you think you could do anything you want to, but the day of vengeance is, 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 is set up for you. All right. This is Psalms 47 and 7. It says, For Yahweh is the king of all the earth. Sing ye praises with understanding. So he's the king of all the earth. So stop thinking he just one way. Let me think. You want to speak Psalms, all right? Because people are not understanding. I think I brought this up before. This is uh, Sirach 30, 39 and 28. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in the fury lay on soul strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So living the most high made all these, made all these things come true, come to light. He's the king of everything. There's nobody above him. He's the one that's setting all these things about. The hurricanes, the um, the pestilence, the uh, uh, car crashes, anything, bullets, stray bullets, you know, all these different sicknesses that you might get, cancer, gout, the Most High is, is doing all this. Stop thinking that you you getting away with something because you're not. Because I mean, my one five is he gonna let me, let me get that right again. Get that right because people, you know, that kind of probably went over people's head. Nehemiah 1 5 it says, And and said, I beseech thee, O Lord God of heaven, the great and terrible God, that keepeth the covenant and mercy for them that love him and observe his commandments. So if you love the most high, you observe the most high and doing his commandments, he gonna have mercy on you. He's not gonna have mercy on you if you're not keeping his commandments, if you're not striving for perfection. That's the key. You got to be doing what that's at the Lord. You got to be obedient to this thing. The commandments are not grievous. Like first, um, first John chapter 5. It's not grievous. It's easy to do. All you got to do is humble yourself down. Say, Salakim, most high. And, and do that's at the Lord and be obedient. All right? So then go back to Psalms 47 and 7. It says, Psalms 47 and 7 says, For Yahweh is the king of, of the of all the earth, sing ye praise the, the praises with understanding. So you know that's plain. So the most high literally is the king in everything. The first eight it says, Yahweh reigned over the heathen. Yahweh sit upon the throne of his holiness. So he he's he, he's above everything. The heathen, us. Ain't nothing better than him. Yeah. Let's get this in Sirach real quick. The Sirach chapter 43 and 29. And it reads thus. It says, The Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous in his power. 
So look most high again. He's terrible, he's great, and he's marvelous in his power. You know, we say we got to stop tempting him because he can get up with you. He can do any goddamn thing he wanted to. Final destination type, type style on you. All of a sudden, you ain't never smoked a cigarette a day in your life, but you got cancer. You know? You ain't never did hey, anything that could kind of cause you. You never ate it pork in your life. You never ate these certain things that could give you certain diseases like high blood pressure, gout. You could be the most healthy. You could be healthy as an ox, like they say, and you could die from something that, of some natural causes or a disease. You know? You would think you get, you, you don't know. The most high, he could do anything. He's marvelous in this thing. So we gotta walk that ten, that, that, that thin line in this. You know, you think you're getting away with certain things. You think you're getting away with talking, talking behind your system, brother back. You think you're getting away with being a homemaker, being a um, a gluttonous, being a, a adulterer, being a fornicator, being in all manner of uh, lasciviousness. You think you're getting away with all these things, but the Most High got His eye on you. Stop tempting the Most High. He could find no destination style you any day. Every day we cheat death. Every day. By the grace and power and the mercy of the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. So we got to understand we can't be taking shortcuts in this thing. All right, let me read it again. In Sirach 43 and 29, it says, The Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous in his power. When we when ye glorify Yahweh, exalt him as much as you can, for even yet will he far as see. And when and when ye exalt him, be put forth all your strength and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. So you better do everything you can. Stop tempting the Most High. Walk that walk that straight line. Show some respect. Show some reverence to him. You got to show that respect and reverence. You got to fear him. Hey, he could get up with you any day. All right. Let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 32 and 21. Let's get it. This is Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 21. It says, And has brought forth thy, thy people Israel out of the land of Egypt with signs and with wonders. And with a strong hand, and with a stretched out arm, and with a great terror. So literally, the Most High did all them things. Everything that was happening from the, all the plagues, all the miracles. Hey, spinning the sea. Great things. Things that ain't never been seen before. Hey, just so the Most High name could be out there. Just so the just so the most high name could be ringing bells out here. Hey, he could do anything he wants to. You know, people gotta understand that. Stop tempting him. You know? Because let me get let me get that. This is Romans, Romans chapter 9, verse 17. It says, For the scripture saying unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I may shew my power in thee, and that my name that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So that's why the Most High will raise anybody up in this world. That's exactly why you're raising um, America, a.k.a. Babylon. He's raising them up at this big stature, at this tall stature of kingdoms, and, and he's going to tear that thing down. Hey, America's finished. America can be attempted the Most High. Hey, America is finished. You don't want to be America. You want to get right. You want to be actually say, hey, put your hand on the Bible and really, hey, in God we trust. Hey, and they don't believe in the most high. They do everything on the left hand side. But in God we trust. Put the hand on the Bible, swear in, do all this. Put your hand on the Bible in the court and talk about tell the truth and no truth. When they 
be lying through their teeth every every chance they get. You don't want to be America. You don't want to be the America that be tempting the Most High all this time. And the Most High been just jotting it down, jotting it down, jotting it down. Hey, taking notes, taking notes, taking notes. So you want to get right, you know? You don't want to be caught out there. Let's get the Seagulls. This is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It reads thus. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power or the living God. It's a fearful thing to fall in the most high's hands. You do not want to fall in his hands. Hey, he's going to get up with you. He's great and terrible. He did all them things in Egypt. He literally killed everybody except for eight people in the flood. Man, that's unknown. You should be scared of this man. You should be like, man, I have to get in the scriptures. You know, including myself. Man, you got to really think this man could literally do anything he want to do to me. You really got to have that, that mind. Because even in um, Romans, go back to Romans real quick. Hey, we, we just, we clay. Let me get that. Let me get that. It said this is uh, Romans 9 and. Let me see. Let me find it. Let me. Where should I start at? Man. This is Romans chapter 9, verse 20. It says, Nay, but, O man, who, who art thou that replies against Yahweh? Shall the thing form say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Like, who are you? You don't come to the most high and say, why you make me dust? Why you make me like this? No. You're not going to go to the maker and you, come on, you're not going to go to the maker and say to him, why are you doing this? This is, the, he's the damn maker. You're not going to go to a writer of the of the, the script and ask him to change it, change this. Up. I'm, I'm, I'm the actor. Just change that though. The director changed that. No. It says, verse 21, have not the powder power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another to dishonor. So literally the most high, you don't have power over the have power over the clay. It's like the, the clay don't have um, power over the powder. You can't do what you want to do. The most high made everything. Let me go back to um, Hebrews 10 and uh, 31. It said, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. So it's literally scary. You should be really be scared of this man. Hey, people, you know, you know, brothers like, you know, like to say, hey, it's not literally talking about fear. Hey, you should fear this man. Out of everybody in this world, hey, you should fear God. This man literally could do anything, any damn thing he want to do to you. A mortal man, okay. A man, I, 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 okay, I could get it. But literally, hey, you better fear that man. Hey, people can say what they want to say. Hey, you going to fear a man that could do anything to you. He could do anything to you. You should fear that man. Don't tempt him. You know, fear him. Go into, I, hey, I think you should really fear him. You should be scared of him. And also reverence, a reverence point. You know, this is Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. It says, Larry, a classic. It says, I formed the light and created darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So literally, you know, the Most High does all this. So you don't want to be tempting the Most High and want to play with him. You don't want to play with his power. Hey. You want to be on the right side of this of, of the end times. You want to be on the wrong side. Hey, a lot of people going to be on the wrong side of this thing. Hey, two-thirds of our people will get cut off. Hey, we're, everybody, all Israel is granted repentance and granted salvation and granted the kingdom, the glory. But two-thirds is going to reject it. 
one third is gonna and it's gonna be um it's gonna come in. And one third is not a lot. It's not a lot. This is Malachi chapter three and verse fourteen. And it reads thus it says, Ye have said it is a vain it is vain to serve Yahweh. And what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance, and that we we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts, and now we call the proud happy, yeah, they that work wickedness are set up, yeah, they that tempt Yahweh are even delivered. Hey, you tempt the most high Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you gonna get delivered up. You gotta stop playing with this man. Hey, it's the most high. He's a God. Everybody say I'm a God. Everybody always want to, hey, want to put that title on. Hey, I'm a God. What's up, God? What's up, God? But this is the most high God. If you think you got power just being a human being and you got blood, you got, you know, these different organs, you could get sick and all the matter of anything to happen to you. Imagine a spiritual being that's that's the most high God. There's no God above him. Stop tempting this man. Hey, he gonna get up with everybody. Stop playing with this man. This is Isaiah 55 and 11. It says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where to I sent it. So whatever the say, whatever the most high said, it's gonna be done. So if you've been caught outside of the boundaries of not keeping the commandments, not keeping the ordinance of the most high, not being in order, not doing this at the Lord as um as whatever um, men and woman lot is, whatever your lot is, if you're not standing there and being firm and then being diligent. As being a man or a woman or a child, hey, you're gonna be get dealt with. That's at the Lord. You tempting them too far. You tempting them. Hey, so when the day of judgment get to its place, hey, you are gonna get dealt with. And we all know what's gonna happen to the people that's not keeping the law, statute, of commandments, in righteousness, and in, in mercy, and in truth, not in wickedness. Because there's a lot of wicked people that's keeping the commandments. There's a lot of wicked people that use the scriptures for um, all matter of, uh, a matter of wickedness. Not those people. I'm talking to people in truth and mercy and, and brotherly love, sisterly love, and you know, and all matter of fruits of the spirit. All right. Let me get this last person. This, this is Second Peter. Chapter 3 and 9. This is Second Peter chapter 3, verse 9, and it reads thus. It says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us usward, not willing that any should perish, but that but that all should come to repentance. So literally the most high, that's what he wants. He ultimately wants all our all of our people to come into repentance. But don't think you could be take, putting day for day, putting stuff off day to day. The Most High is going to get up with you sooner or later. He could final destination style you any day. And it's all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, by showing Yahweh Shai that He even have us here. None of us should be here. But He long suffering, hey, everything He said. It's not going to return to slap. It's not going to return into him void. Everything is going to come to fruition. All the prophecies, all the people that's going to, that's going to perish, hey, the one-third, the two-thirds, hey, that's all going to come into play. All right? And, you know, um, the wages of sin is death. So, hey, everything's going to catch up. All right? I won't get all power glory the most high Yahweh by Shalom Hashem. I'm like Yahushua. I hope you need somebody's education. You know, call me Yahushua. Shalom.